All right, Nothing Else Matters by Metallica. I am a huge fan of Metallica. I freaking love those guys. Been a fan for many, many years. And this is a very beautiful song. Anyway, I am Finbar of Finbar Bass. Please click on those bass tutorials I have right down there in the YouTube text box. Um, they're free, they're not on YouTube, so you can only get them by clicking on that. And um, what's cool about them, I think, and the whole idea behind all this is we're practicing the bass, right? We're learning all kinds of techniques. You're learning um, bass tone, you're lear learning hammer-ons, pull-offs, you're getting your chops up to speed, right? But we're doing it in such a way that's not just rote repetition, right? You're actually learning it through doing something that you love, through music. And that's, that's fun, you know? You're actually basically having fun, but you're practicing at the same time. And you almost don't even know that you're learning something, but you are. You're getting better on the bass, and you're getting more up to speed. You're getting your chops, and you're learning all kinds of techniques and cool stuff on the bass. So click on those tutorials, and I think they'll really help you out. All right, without further ado, let's roll up onto some Metallica, yo! Yeah! All right, this is in uh, standard tuning. What you're going to do first is you are going to open up on the E right there, open E, smack that down. Then you're going to hit the octave which is the seventh fret, of course, of the A string. Then you're gonna go, you're gonna descend from the seventh to the fifth to the third, right? So it's gonna look like this. Open E, seventh fret of the A, fifth fret of the A, and then third fret of the A. And then to bring it back around, right? So what's that? That's, you're on the third fret of the E string, then the second fret of the E string, and then the open, right? Very simple, and then that repeats from there. And at the end there, the last round of this, instead of going, right, instead of going the third, the second, and then open, you're gonna go, so that's third, second, and then third. And then you're gonna hit the second fret of the A, and then back to the open E, to resolve it, right? So if I play that whole thing, it looks like this. Open E. Then you're gonna hit the seventh fret again of the A, right? So you got. So what's that? So you're hitting the open E actually four times, twice and then twice. And then you're hitting that seventh fret of the A again. So in all, and then you're gonna do another one of these, just like that. For the chorus, um, where he sings, I uh, never cared for what they do, you got this number going on here. It's very simple. What you're doing there is you're on the third fret of the A string and then the open A string. Nice and slow, heavy, meaningfully. And then you're hitting um, on the fifth fret, right, on the A string. Right, like six hits. Of course, you could vary this up. You could play more hits if you want. But that's the general basic idea here is... Just like that and then at the end of that run you're gonna do this here just like that you're gonna hit that fifth fret three times and then you're gonna hit the open one so the timing changes a little bit on there it gets a little wacky but obviously you've heard the song before and then you're gonna listen to it and uh, when you familiarize yourself with that part it'll make a lot of sense so if I play that all together All right, 
right, so that was uh, the interlude right there to this song. Um, this is really the coolest part of the bass line, in my opinion. This is very, very nice melodic uh, bass line <clears throat> for a Metallica song. Um, anyway, what I was doing there in the beginning, it's very easy what you're just hitting the open E and it's octave. So I'm hitting the open E once, and then you're gonna hit the octave once, and then twice, right? So you got, and then you just repeat that. And you do that three times, right? Open, seventh fret, twice on the seventh fret of the A. And then what that is there, after you do that three times, you're gonna hit the open E, seventh fret, just like before, but then you're gonna quickly hit the seventh fret of the E, right? So you got open E, seventh fret of the A, seventh fret of the E, and then open A. See how that sounds? So if I did that slow from the beginning there. That's that transition right there. After you do that, you're going to hit the open A again three times. And then you're going to hit the open E uh, twice and then the third fret of the E. Right? So if I did it, if I did just that part right there. Just like that. And if you hear me counting, it's because... Without listening to the rest of the music, it's kind of difficult right there to know when that comes in, so I'm, I'm counting it off. If you feel like counting it off, I'll just, I'll just let you know what the count is here. Um, from that, if you count, that is one. This is in um, three, so you got one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, like that. When you hit that open A, if you count that, one, two, three, two, two, and then on that three, you go one, two, three, two, two, and then on that three, you're going to hit those three hits on the A string, right? And then you keep counting. And then on four, two, three, when you get to that three, you're going to hit the open E twice and then the third, string, uh, third fret of the A, right? So again, what that would look like. One, two, three, two, two, three, two, three, four, two, three. Just like that. Um, of course, if you just... If you're very familiar with the song and you listen to it and you know where that hits and you can listen to the rest of the music, you don't even need to count it off, so don't even worry about that. Uh, the next part he does, after you're going to be on that third fret, right, of the A string, so then you're going to do this number here. Right? So the part before that, running into that, you'll have... go together so you got two hits on the third fret a hit on the second fret third fret and then fifth fret and that's all on the a string so if i do that slow and then real easy the same kind of rhythm you're going to hit that fifth fret and you're going to slide up to the seventh fret and then do open e again so that section right there if i do it slow time and then he does something really cool here you got right it's kind of just harping on that open e sound because you're just hit you're just basically jamming it into people's heads that i'm on that open e and the octave and what you're doing there is you're hitting the octave right the seventh fret of the a and then you're hitting the open e twice then the open, uh, I'm sorry, then the uh, seventh fret of the A, and then the open E again. So if I do it slow. Just like that. If I do those both parts together. And then you do the third fret, second fret, and then open E. And that brings you back into the beginning part that I showed you for the interlude, because you go. Right, just like that. So now the next part of the interlude, when it repeats, 
it changes a little bit. It doesn't stay stagnant, which is pretty cool. You get kind of a buildy sort of effect. So you, but you are going to do this. Right from there, that's what I showed you in the beginning of the interlude. It stays the same up to that point, right? You got the open A, but then you're going to do this number here. Just like that. And what that is, is you have your open A, then you're hitting the octave of that, the seventh fret of the D string, and then you're going to bring it back to the seventh fret of the A string. And then open A again. Okay, and then you're going to hit the uh, open A, second fret, and then third fret of the A, and then hang on that third fret for a bit. So if I play that together, hang on that and then similar to what I showed you before right, last time we went this time we're going so he exchanges the fifth of the uh, fifth fret of the A for the fifth fret of the D and after that part you're gonna do this part here What I'm doing there is from here I'm sliding up to that seventh fret of the uh, D string, right? And you're gonna go seventh fret of the D, fifth fret of the A, fifth fret of the um, D string, and then you're back on this seventh fret of the A. So if I do that slow from this part, so you have this seventh fret, you're on the seventh fret of the A string. Right? Then you're going to hit the open E. And then you're going to do three. This is again harping on the, the, uh, the open E, that E sound. So you got, you're on the seventh fret of the A, then you're going to hit the open E again. Three hits on the seventh fret of the A string, and then open again. Right? And then you have the which is the third, second, and then open fret of the E once again. All right, so for the solo, <clears throat> what he's doing on bass, he's actually, all that is, again, on the uh, theme of the open E, you're hitting the open E and playing it like a chord with the um, seventh fret of the A string. So you're playing them both together, right? Just like that. And uh, after that, basically what you're doing is you're doing the same thing that um, I showed you in the verses, but you're playing um, one more note. So in other words, you're gonna do. Remember in the beginning we went. Basically one note on each fretting. Now we're gonna do two. So you got two open E's, two sevens, two fives and two threes on the A, just like that. And you still got the third fret, second and open, right? the only difference right there you go down to where you're on the third fret of the uh, of the a string and then you're gonna hit it's very nice kind of resolution there and what you're doing is you're hitting the third fret of the E second fret of the a and then open E all right Metallica got some nothing else matters for you Really sweet, nice bass line. Um, thank you so much for listening. I am Finn Barr of Finn Barr Bass. Please do not forget, you can click on the little YouTube clicker box right down there to get three lessons that are not on YouTube at all. You can also subscribe to Finn Barr Bass to get a bunch more uh, tutorials like this one, uh, song tutorials. And um, other than that, have fun with that one, yo.